Hello Mixed Indians, I'm Christopher Lee, and on today we have the Mixed In Top 10. Today on the Top 10, we're talking about electric cars. So for number 10, so the UP is VW's smallest new car and an altogether more serious stab at building a proper city car that we actually want to buy. Volkswagen has taken its creation very seriously and remarkably intends this to be its biggest selling model globally. They'll sell more of these than the Golf. But rather than making the UP a scaled down version of its larger cars as it has done in the past, the UP takes a much more intelligent approach. It's this that's key to its appeal and is the reason why you may even choose one over a Volkswagen Polo. So far our number nine Nissan Leaf. But the real joy of the Leaf isn't the, the money, it's the motor and its charming grace. For the way most people drive, if not literally, for Petroheads, it's simply a better source of motion. Most car makers are still up to two years from launching their first proper standalone mainstream electric cars. Yet here's Nissan launching a full second generation of the Leaf. On the existing, if discredited, EU cycles, it gets 225 miles. That's not bad. That's a lot of miles. <laughs> the Nissan Leaf, so when I was looking at it, they said it would get like 114 miles. That's, pretty, that's still pretty good. So now for number eight. So Tesla Model X. Tesla invents new doors, adds extra seats, changes the earth. It's lifestyle, not value for the money. The big Tesla, the one that seats seven and has every other firm on the planet build premium SUVs in a bit of a panic. Underneath the architecture is similar to the Model S, massive battery pack, electric motors, aluminum chassis. So the SUV might be uh, the car for you, you know, electric uh, saves you a lot in the, in the future. And they didn't talk about what the charging situations is all about, but I'm sure that the, it's just like the Tesla, you can probably get something installed in your, in, your, in, your, in your garage. But I'm sure that there's charging stations all over where you live, because that's what they're doing these days. The push to get electric going is really, really strong, and I, it's actually encouraging. I like the idea that I can get an electric car now. When we were young, electric cars, you know, were around, but they were, you know, how, how do you charge them up? You know, it was like yeah, you you have to get the whole shabam at your house. Yeah. For a little while, it was the popular thing was the hydrogen, where the hydrogen fuel cells, and so you just yeah. in place. Um, but I, people aren't talking about that anymore. That, I think it's, that technology was maybe still around, but nobody's talking about that. I mean, who knows? Maybe that might actually come into play someday. Yeah, huh? we'll see. Yeah. All right, number seven. The Hyundai Ionic Electric. The car drives its front wheels with a 118 bhp. In eco and normal mode, the, this means zero to 62 in 10.2 seconds, which is kind of slower than some of the other ones, but yeah, still pretty nice. Yeah. Maximum claimed range is 174 miles, competitive with the revised Nissan Leaf and the BMW i3. Now we got our number six. The Renault Zoe. Mature styling, ample space, and that all-important battery range set it apart as a practical city EV and all for $5,000 less than the market leader. It's not for everyone. Power can be a little bit reserved, something you'll notice more if your range anxiety is under control and you're brave enough to tackle motorway stints. But for more urban use, this is more than good enough as an entry to the EV world. All right, number five. BMW i3. The i3 remains the best premium small EV out there. Hard to argue against. Just be prepared to pay proper money. 170 horsepower and peak torque of 184 pound foot. Zero to 62 in 7.3 seconds. Hey, not bad. A top speed of 93 miles per hour. The official NECD range is 186 miles. That's not bad. I like the. Yeah. I like the how a lot of the new. Uh, Electric cars are really getting some good range. Yeah, range is important. I mean, yeah. when you if you only got like you know 100 miles or uh, you know 80 miles or something like that, it's like, well, you know, just, I'm afraid I'm going to run out of power somewhere on my way to go somewhere. It's like it's a lot yeah. of people. It's like, no, I'm, we're not ready. But yeah. you know, uh, that's like 
I don't know, for some cars that's about a, what, a half a tank worth of uh, charge? Uh, like if it was a half a tank of gas, it's about the equivalent. Uh, some cars are doing better than just 170 miles uh, per, per charge, but for a car it's like oh, 170 some miles, that's probably around a half tank for a lot of cars, depending on which car you got. Yeah, well my car is a 10 gallon and it, uh, I can go about 250 miles on a tank. Okay, so, so it's pretty close. Yeah. So a lot of cars are pretty close to having a regular, yeah, a regular size for, tank. But then, you know, in the future, then it'll just it'll yeah. pass it. Yeah. And you fill up your tank, what, once a week, maybe a little bit longer. And if that's the case, then that means you're not charging every day. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So. All right, so now we got number four. The Hyundai Kona Electric, a proper tipping point BEV. The genuine 300 miles-ish range in a small SUV for under 30K. So the one we have here is a long range battery pack, 64K kilowatt, 300 mile range, 200 BHP. All right, so now we got the number three. The Volkswagen E-Golf. The E-Golf is an EV that works for most of us most of the time, a truly convincing electric car. The first ever Golf to go entirely do, the, do away with that old school notion of an internal combustion engine. The E-Golf is propelled solely by an electric motor, sending 114 bhp to the front wheels fed by the 24 kilowatt lithium ion battery tucked down between the axles. Now we got number two. The, the Tesla Model S. There's no denying the Model S is a mighty impressive achievement and from a company whose only previous credit was a Lotus Ellis-based Roadster. A usable amount of range, decent handling, and plenty of techie appeal, the Model S has made the mainstream manufacturers sit up and take notice. Performance is ample. A quick YouTube search reveals thousands of videos of these th things beating Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, Porsches, and so on. Zero to 62 miles an hour in less than 2.5 seconds. And even the slower, cheaper 75D does the same in 4.2 seconds. Damn, that's fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really fast. Yeah. Could you imagine? Zero to 62 in yeah. less than three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we got our number one, the Jaguar I Pace. Jaguar steps up bravely into the unknown and nails it. A rapid, desirable, good-looking SUV that happens to be powered by electricity. Headline facts are thus, the I Pace uses two concentric electric motors, one in each axle for permanent four-wheel drive, producing 394 bhp and 513 foot of torque delivered through a single-speed gearbox. The lithium-ion battery placed under the floor, so it claims it has a 298 mile range on the new, more stringent WLTP cycle. Charging takes a little longer, 10 hours to top it up from uh, zero to 80 percent with a 75 watt home charger, or 45 minutes if you could find a 100 kilowatt DC supply. So we're looking at, uh, what about, uh, $76,000 for fully loaded first edition. Still ne needs to go top steer and turn heads with, with like, panache you know so that's gonna be awesome so that that's a lot of money but yeah it is a lot of money but the, the tesla is a lot of money too yeah. so that's pretty good well especially with the jaguar imagine the luxury you're gonna get from oh yeah like i mean that. yeah i'm sure so, i'm sure it's very very lush inside oh, yeah. so thank you for watching mixed in top 10 and if you would like to help us out you can go to our patreon page hit that like or even subscribe to our youtube channel and if you really like us you can share us with your friends. We also have t-shirts and all kinds of stuff that you can buy that gives us a little bit of spending cash for beer. <laughs> all links are in the description below. And as always, our motto is because of you, this happened. So thanks and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. The world. Yep, so I didn't, I didn't like copy the entire thing I just thought I'd put in there because they said the range and stuff or yeah. talk about the range yeah all right but so now bore everybody like, yeah
This is backwards to me. This is hard. <laughs> oh, I dashed it. Dashed it. Oh, shit. I'm squishing your head. Okay. Ready? All right, number five. BMW i3. The i3 remains the best premium small EV out there. Hard to argue against. Just be prepared to pay proper money. 170 horsepower and peak torque of 184 pounds.